Oops, sorry. <laughs> Didn't see you there. I'll uh, meet you outside. Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you're new here. My name is Dahlia and I hope you guys are all having a wonderful day today. So as you can see, we are standing outside of the Sunken Waterfalls, which was my last speed build. If you haven't checked it out, please do. It will be linked in the description below. So today we are going to be decorating the house that I promised at the end of this trail here. It is going to be my second official villager house build and today we are going to be building Eric's house. So without further ado, let's just get right started with this video. So first thing I had to do, because I never do this before the beginning of any of my videos, is clear up the area of the trees and uh, had to do a little water terraforming too to get rid of part of this river here. I'm going to be eventually getting rid of the river completely, but uh, that's for another build for another day. I just want to say a huge thank you. Um, I reached 600 followers on this channel a few days ago, so I'm extremely grateful and I just want to say a huge, huge thank you. And if you're new to my channel and you do like this video, please don't hesitate to like and comment and even hit that subscribe button if you like speed builds and villager hunts. I would love to have you a part of this little community that I'm building here on YouTube. So after doing a little bit of cleanup around the area, I began terraforming the cliffs up. Um, my idea was to have the house kind of nestled in the cliffs here. Um, so I'm kind of just initially planning out like generally where I want it. I do move it around a little bit to make it fit a little bit better. Um, and one thing you should know about me is that when I go into any build, I really don't map it up beforehand. I know where I want it generally to be. Um, but as you can see, like I do a lot of modifications just as I go along. Um, I hate having things pre-planned because usually even when I have things pre-planned, I end up changing my mind anyway. Um, but all I knew about this is that I wanted to build one of the villagers' houses back here. As I said in my previous video, this is kind of where I wanted at least one of the villagers' houses to be, um, which is why I mapped out that um, little pathing area. Um, but then I moved the house a little bit over to the left. So once I decided that I wanted it to be Eric's house, um, I decided to also include a little seating area for him and Doby because Doby is the house on the third tier level to the right of him. And then I also wanted to do a little fishing spot because both Doby and Eric both really like fishing. So I thought it'd be cute to do a little water fixture as well. So I just quickly popped over to Resident Services and grabbed um, Eric's house to move it. Um, I don't move it for a little bit, but I wanted to have it in my pocket so I can kind of see how it looks up against the cliffs. And then I added more space in the area to the cliffs to add a little bit more space because I want to add trees and a couple of other things on the top and I want enough space to be able to do that. Later on in the video I also attempt at doing my first um, cliff tree as in like using the tree the glitch to plant the trees on like the very edge of the cliff. So I do include that at one point in the video and I'll leave a timestamp for when I do that. Um, this is show if any of you guys don't know how to do it. It's a pretty standard thing that most people do now. I really hope that's something they don't remove in a future update because it is a lot of fun to be able to put trees 
um, on the corners of clips. Um, and the only reason I haven't done it up to this point is because it's kind of a hassle to do and I'm a little bit lazy, so. All right, and then after doing that, I was just putting the path up a little bit. Um, I didn't want to do too much pathing because I wanted to make sure I had enough room and area to do a lot of trees because I kind of wanted this to be a very secluded little um, area for, for Eric. Obviously because he's like a moose or like a deer, I wanted him to like be very like hidden away in the forest to give him his own little private area. Um, so I did just a little bit of pathing, um, but nothing too crazy. And then I was kind of just going around the area and digging up some poles for where I potentially wanted to put some trees down. Um, once again, this was just like me speculating where I wanted to put it. And then I ultimately decided to put the water fixture right next to Dobie's house. It was originally going to be next to the little tree farm, um, but I figured it made more sense to have it over here and then the little seating area for Dobie and Eric will be right next to the tree farm which you guys will see later on. And if you know anything about me you know that I'm terrible at waterscaping so I only show a little bit here and then I skip over to the next part because I figured you guys didn't want to watch like a few minutes of me just like struggling with this. And initially I wasn't going to have waterfalls here, but I figured because it's right up against the um, right up against the cliff that it made the most sense. And here I had to cut down the tree because I didn't have any fruit on me to dig it up. And I was too lazy to go grab one. And I wanted there to be two waterfalls here, so I just chopped down the tree and I replanted a different one later on. So I debated for quite a while what pathing I wanted to use for this little seating area, but I decided ultimately to go with the brick one. I love the way that the brick one looks when you put furniture down on top of it, and it's a nice contrast with the dirt path and then the dirt of the um, tree farm next to it, so I decided to go with this. I think it looks really great and it turned out amazing. Um, I don't know if I'm going to permanently keep it this way, but for the time being, I really like it. So I did fiddle with the um, cliffs a little bit more off camera and just decided to put Eric's house down. I was happy with the way that it looked and didn't feel the need to move it any further. Um, I just wanted to make sure I had enough space to the right of it to put a little seed area for Eric himself so he can have like a little yard. And because I had moved Eric's house location again, I just quickly adjusted the pathing just to accommodate for the move. And then I moved on to this little seating area next to Eric's house. I decided to go with the dark and light dirt path doing that little square checkered pattern. I hadn't used this in a build in a while and I already have this on a few spots on my island so far so I thought it'd be really cute here and then once I add the furniture later on it looks really really cute. I would suggest to anyone who would like to do this 
is add additional codes on top of it. So if you have like a flower or a leaf pattern that you like placing on the ground, putting it on top of the light or dark dirt, especially when you do this checkered pattern, it looks really, really cute and I highly recommend it. Then I was going around the area and planting some trees. I planted a couple of full-size trees already, but then I also planted a couple of seedlings or saplings um, because I wanted a couple of the trees to be not fully grown. So I quickly went around the area both on the lower part and on the third tier cliff to quickly plant those. And then, and then like magic, they grew to the size that I wanted them to be. For anyone who doesn't know this little trick, um, to prevent a tree from growing to the full size, all you have to do is plant a fruit tree behind it and that prevents it from growing to its full size. So after like two, three days, if you like it to remain slightly smaller than its full size, just plant a fruit tree right behind it and that will stop it from growing fully. I then quickly uh, put down the furniture I wanted in this little area. I wanted to use the log round table um, because I thought it felt fit the area best. And then I wanted to put down um, like some little food items, um, which I add later on. Um, I wanted to keep this area very simple and cute because it is very small and minimal and I really like the finishing touch. I then moved on to decorating the little fishing area. I just put a wild log bench and this fishing pole stand. I didn't want to do anything too crazy um, and just keep the area very simple. Um, so I thought the items worked really well for the area. And just like I said before, here's the little trick of adding a couple of additional codes on top of the dark or light dirt. Um, like I said, it just adds a little bit of extra, just adds a little more to the area, and it looks really, really cute. And then I started putting down the furniture I was going to include in this area. I do end up moving it later on, but right now I was just kind of like feeling for how I wanted the furniture to be positioned. And I ended up choosing this cute little um, checkered pattern for the pillows because I thought that the, the colors worked really well with Eric's house. And then I quickly added a little mum cushion at the center of the um, little pond area here. I thought that it looked really, really cute and I love doing this, this trick because it kind of looks like a water lily and I think it's so adorable. Then I quickly added the items onto the table here. I decided to go with like a picnic style approach, so I put a picnic basket um, and then a little tea cozy and a beach ball that looks like the watermelon. I hope eventually we actually get real watermelons in the game, um, but for the time being having like the beach ball pretend to be a watermelon is super cute and I thought that the little table looked really adorable. One of the biggest um, decisions I had to make for this build is whether I wanted the log sofa to go up against Eric's house or if I wanted to place it here. And even though that's like such a simple thing to decide, it took me a stupidly long time to make up my mind here. I think I'm happy with the way that it looks and I added a little hyacinth lamp there too. Um, but let me know if you guys think that maybe I should move the furniture around or if it doesn't quite look as good as it did before. Um, but I think I ha I'm happy with it. 
to decorate the left side of Eric's house, I put down this barrel and the pirate's sideways barrel. I love putting the two of them together. I think they look really, really great. And then I decided to put the mush log there. I think that it looks really good when they're all put together. Let me know what you guys think. Um, but I just wanted to fill the left side of Eric's house a little bit more. And I think putting these items together makes it look really like cozy and more foresty. So let, let me know what you guys think. I think that it looks really, really good. And then, like I said at the beginning of the video, I decided to add a cliff tree to the left of Eric's house. So here I'm going to show you guys how to quickly do it. So what you need to start with is a nine space area on a cliff and make sure that you leave one of the nine spaces empty like I did here. Um, and then what you need to do is um, water terraform two little spaces on either side and then you hop across to the other side and put the water there so you kind of have like this little like U shape. You plant the tree on the top of the cliff obviously at the very center of like where the nine spaces would be. Then you can hop back down and get rid of the little water area you made and then you can terraform the cliff how you like to fit it up against the tree. Just you pay particular attention to how you're terraforming the area because once you screw up, like if you screw up this area and you want to like rebuild cliffs, you would you won't be able to. So be very very careful. So like as you can see, the cliff, the tree is now on the edge of the cliff. If I were to try to terraform further, it wouldn't let me. Um, so yeah, and here's me celebrating because this is my first official cliff tree that I have successfully built and it it qualified like confetti was necessary let's 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 be honest it was it was necessary At this point I was pretty much done decorating with the furniture items so for the majority of the rest of the video it's going to be me decorating with um, some flowers and shrubs and a few additional items. You'll of course see me using country fencing because I always use country fencing in my builds but first I started off with a couple of flowers and throwing down some mushrooms and other small items to start to fill the space up. And then I threw a couple of mush lamps down because I gotta have my mush lamps always. And I think that putting, especially the one in the little corner here next to the little picnic area, looks super, super cute. And then I threw down one next to Eric's house. Let me know if you guys like the placement of it. Um, I couldn't decide if I really liked it there. Um, but yeah, I think it's really cute. And then I just stopped and applauded because Diana was hanging out with me. And I love it when villagers hang out around the area you're decorating or terraforming unless they get in the way in which case like they have to move like you love them but they have to move so you can decorate but they always seem to like sit exactly where you want to terraform or decorate you guys know what I mean you guys know what I mean this little area looked a little Sparse, so I just threw down the dirt path a little bit um, in the middle here just to add something to it. I was going to use the plank path, like the little wooden planks I have, but I'm already going to be changing the wooden planks um, to a different design at some point. So I didn't want to have to throw them down now, only to have to remove them later on. You 
you can tell the day has changed. This was actually a two day build. So this is me decorating and finishing up on the second day. Decided to make a couple of green leaf piles because obviously with a very foresty cottage inspired island, they look so nicely and they fill the area up really great. And then I noticed that Eric was outside his house and I love seeing villagers whose houses you're building interacting with the space so I just quickly stopped and talked to him and he noticed that I was building yesterday so I think he really appreciates the the time that went into this build um I hope so anyway <laughs> I decided to throw a green leaf pile on the third tier here and when you see it from like the second tier like looking up I think that it looks really really good like I didn't think that just throwing down like a little pile of leaves would like make such a huge difference but I really like the way that it looked and then I had another wild log bench and I decided to throw it down on the third tier like no one will be able to get up here and like sit on it unless someone like magically spawns on the third tier here but I think that it looks really good and especially like in contrast with Eric's house right in front of it I really like the way that it looks. Then I had this space in front of Eric's house and I wasn't sure what to do with it. So I put down this simple well. Um, I'm not sure if it goes with the more like brown of the in, like of Eric's house exterior and like the dirt path and everything around it, but I actually quite like the way that it looks. Please let me know what you guys think. Um, it was just, it fit the area perfectly in terms of size, but I'm not sure if it worked for the space. So let me know what you guys think. And for just a couple finishing touches, I ran around and threw some weeds and a couple of the flower patterns down on the ground. I didn't want to do too much of the flower pattern. I wanted to keep this area more like woodsy um, with the dirt as opposed to using the flower patterns. Um, but I just threw a couple of down, just add a little bit more to the space. And then after that, we were officially finished with the build. Alright guys, the build is officially finished, so let's go check it out. Alright, so that's it for today's video. I really hope that you guys enjoyed. I had so much fun with this build and I'm extremely happy with the final product. Um, I'm always really nervous about decorating villagers' houses, but I think this turned out really amazing. Um, and I really hope you guys liked it too. Please, please don't hesitate to let me know what you think in the comments below. Like, comment, and even subscribe if you like this video and would like to see more from me. And I'll see you all in my next video. Bye!